Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flames Merch and Twin Flame Body, my brand new endeavor. So I want to ask you, do you feel like you're dying? Do you feel as though you're feeling a little bit like death warmed over? This is not a fun time to be in. And yet it is important to take heart because you're not really without any resources. I know what this is. I've been through it myself. I know what to do about it. And it can leave you feeling very odd. But if you don't do something about it, something proactive, utilizing your higher connections, your cosmic heart connections, you will find that it lingers. And that could be a lot longer than you need to and a lot longer than is healthy for you. Now, many people feel like this for years. They just don't know why. A part of them is missing. Those parts are intended to be connected to, to bring life back. So to a degree, a number of people who find themselves on the journey, many times find that they hit a wall and they feel like they're falling into a crevasse. And if you feel like this, like somehow all of your enthusiasm is left, there's nothing to do. You don't want to go to sleep. And yet it's not relaxing. And worse, it makes you feel dead. And even worse than that, that you're dying. Now this is a real thing. And you might not think that this is part of a process, but the reality is, is yes. So it doesn't matter what you believe. It matters what your body is going through. That is the emphasis for this whole brand new you're and really going forward. Help, I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. Help, am I dying? And some people are proactive. They go and get something checked. And this is way beyond the scope of medical science, though I do encourage people, get yourself checked. Do not rule out something. I never do. I don't want people to. I detect things on people. And that is a part of my gift. And so this started happening for me years ago. In fact, it happened even previously before I even heard some of this terminology. I could touch someone and I would see that flash of their past life. I could feel what the experience, but I was not an empath. I'm a sympath. I am a person that gets that deeper awareness and it doesn't cling to me or cling to me and the one I love. And that's important because this actually is healing at a higher level. This is me with the capability of almost like a virtual reality version of being able to help someone. And the healing goes on over the next two to three days of when I work with people. Now, these are things that you might experience, which I wrote on my board here, okay? Let me get a little closer in here for you. Oopsie. Help, am I dying? That's sort of the title here. Because the short answer is, sorry, but none of us are getting out of it that easily. Although suicide does still happen. But asking the very question and feeling a concern for yourself, that's a little light. That's like those old stoves or a furnace that has a pilot light on, on the inside. I'm here to help you build that up so that you get the cosmic heart level that you need to sustain you. So do you feel any of these sensations? 
your body feels like it's going through something, but it does not cooperate no matter what you do. Do you feel detached from life? Detached where you're losing your enthusiasm. There's no joy. You feel like you've been there, done that, tried everything you can on this planet, and you just don't really want another thing. Do you find that you're having suicidal thoughts or wanting to just check out? Do those thoughts come up sometimes? Like, how can I just check out? Or I should just check out, you know, call it a day. Why is this? This is due to way, way back, long ago and far away, deep cosmic damage traumas. I do a special session that is called the Cosmic Heart Reconnection in three segments to help people with this. So to give you an idea, if you feel like you're on your deathbed somehow, there's a reason for that. And some of the things that I've done with people is I've seen, you know, what has happened. That is a part of what comes through the session. And it is not earthbound. It is actually several events that have somehow accumulated. And it's through those layers and levels that I work. The education of yourself has to be there somewhat so that you're aware you can't just tune this in with the mind. The mind is the mind here is insufficient for doing such things. There needs to be an engagement of the brand new template of relationship from 5D. There has to be an engagement of the high heart and of the high heart connection. And what I hear many times is that people are doing some kind of mashup out there. And this is entirely new. They're doing things like not properly getting in the things that their body needs to build up again. Your physical body anchors your higher connections. You have more than seven chakras. If you're awakened, you probably have had that for a longer time than you may have realized. But that doesn't negate the fact that you can go through things. There's a reason that you go through things that have a lot to do with the past. You could take a much longer time and try talk therapy. You could take a much longer time and do some things that um, are, you know, a little bit longer because that's how things have been. There's, those have been like the only tools available. But now I'm here to tell you I'm here and I'm able to to do things. I am a Blu-ray twin flame, which means that I am actually an original source being, and I have gone through my paces with all of this stuff that I do, I teach, and then I help people with. And there's something to know. Just seek my help. You don't have to feel um, guilty, or what I especially don't recommend is don't fumble around on the internet trying to figure out what's happening to the other person you're attached to. Do something that benefits both of you and take the actions to do so. So I'm just going to set this here. When you do that, you're actually mastering parts of yourself that just get what's needed, when it's needed, how it's needed, and you can't even cut to the chase. Now this is a year for action. These are actions that are not passive. These are actions that are very, very active. They're not passive aggressive. They're not blaming. This has been one of the issues with the side of us that we could call the masculine mind. Instead of, you know, just getting to the solution People sometimes will want to find blame or point fingers or look for something. And I'm just going to remind you, you have your body, your true love has theirs. It goes through one of you first for your physical body. But when at least one of you addresses it, that means that both of you can benefit from this. So I'm here on my table to give you a little demo because 
many times this reminds me of things that have happened in the past. Things that people don't realize have happened to them because it's in the time, that time forgot. There's also the whys. Why doesn't your body cooperate? Okay? That has to do with the disconnect. That has to do with a long ago and far away disconnect for many times it will be the central nervous system. Doesn't mean that you're fully impaired, but something's not talking to each other. And you need a connection that's higher, which is the connection that sustains you. A lot of people think that that happens when the physical person comes into their life or stays with them or lives with them. And even people that live together sometimes do still have uh, illness experiences, sickness experiences. If you're not together, it's not your fault. It may be deeper than you even realize, which is why a lot of people are separated. People think that they're separated because the twin has to learn something. In many ways, you've learned everything under the sun. You've been incarnated here or you've been incarnated in other places. It's more like in unlearning the pain, the discomfort, the traumas. And that's where I come in because I am the person that can get it gone very rapidly. I'm talking about rapid removal. I removed the shrapnel that's gotten in there from these deep traumas, the way back deep cosmic damage traumas. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about where does this originate from. So if you identify as a star seed, and mind you, I'm gonna go back here a little bit, so some of you seasoned veterans, you're gonna to have to bear with me a little bit. Hi, is this new to you? Thank you and welcome for joining. I want to explain things to you in a way that's understandable, that's not esoteric or mysterious or a part of some kind of mystery school. In plain language, I can paraphrase part of Star Wars. A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, a great adventure took place. You were a part of those adventures. Sometimes when everything went along until boom, and you're very strong until another boom, okay? So people that are star seeds, if you identify as a star seed, what that means is you're carrying the seeds or the spiritual DNA of some connection to some star system. And this is why people feel drawn to different star systems. You're bringing it here. But if that star has been damaged, some of the things that we see through a telescope called a supernova. How does a place explode anyway? Is that really a natural occurrence? Are there really unformed things? So without getting into some of the you know negative aspects of this, we're here putting things together, making it right, and this is where I come in because I've been aware of these things for a long time. The lost childhoods, the inner child stuff is, does not just happen here. It doesn't just happen to one person. Many times what you might experience is stuff that has happened to your other half. Being kidnapped, being stolen, that kind of stuff still happens. And we have to get ourselves connected in a way where it doesn't happen, where those ill effects that have affected you are sort of a blip on your radar. So what else about my gift? Well, this actually happened uh, with uh, some of the children that I've been working with. I see why they have nightmares. I see what the trauma was. I see it. And my job, what I think I take very, very uh, professionally and almost divinely is to just get it gone. It sometimes doesn't help to re-terrorize a child into letting them know, well, guess what, this happened to you or that happened to you, or guess what someone did to you. Because sometimes the mind wants to focus on that instead of allowing the body to get healthy. 
There were things about um, the areas of your head, your senses, that need you to tune in really only to your true love and not all of the uh, damage or the traumas. And people get very, very zoned on this. They want to find out what is it called? Why is it? What happened? And that's what I call kind of like spirit level, um, you know, superficiality because you're only doing this at a superficial level. If you were to see what I could see, you wouldn't call someone some of the names that we call people because women can be called that too. You know, there's certainly female and males that have dished it out as much as given it. And it's time to call some of this what it is because that transparency is here. And if you're tired of it, if it is not bringing to you the solutions that you need for your life, if you're feeling flat out like I depicted there, and you have any of these types of symptoms, you feel like you're dying. You literally feel like you're dying. I had several people who weren't even coming to me for sessions, people around me, people I heard at my fitness center, people I overheard at the grocery store, not kidding about that, actually saying, one lady said, I literally came out of um, one department in an aisle and she was there saying this for everyone in here. She said, I just felt like I was dying. I knew I was dying and all I could think of was, who's going to take care of my cat? Who should I give my cats to? What about my cats? I'm going to die. I feel like I'm dying. And that was a real reality. And it might sound amusing, but it wasn't because it put her in the mode of what are my responsibilities and what will I do and what will happen? And this is important because when people have checked out, they've left people behind. They've left children behind. They've left responsibilities behind. They've left bills. Why do you feel like you're dying? Why does your body not cooperate? Why does it feel like there's parts of you, like your ankle wants to give out, or your nerves are somehow not there, or you feel dulled down and lifeless? Why do you feel like there's no spark of life in your, in your eyes? Or do you see it in the person that you love? Do you see that there's no spark of life? Do their eyes look dull? Do your children, do their eyes look dull or somehow darkened? Like there's the lights are, you know, there's nobody home in there. This happens. It happens on spiritual journeys. Do you feel detached from life? Like there's nothing you could do, nothing you could say, been there, done that. You try to think of things to do and you say, well, I could jump out of an airplane. No, I can't. Don't feel like it. I could walk down to the park. No, not feeling it. You don't feel like anything. That actually is a thing. And that's not us. That is not how the high heart actually is. So you are definitely needing some of my assistance if you have that. What about suicidal? Not every suicide is very active. There are these slow lingering suicides where people kill themselves little by little. There are these suicides that are actually maybe a thought. You're killing yourself a thousand ways inside your head because you're thinking up ways to do it, but you're not actually doing it. Or do you want to just check out? Because some of this has just gotten so to the point where you just don't know anymore. And let's just check out. Does it feel like that to you? This is important. So do not uh, diminish when you notice these things about yourself. It's time to ask for help. It really is time to get out of the old and into new ways of doing things where it doesn't take Years of therapy, I recommend certain supplements to you if you're feeling a certain way. And I do this through my Cosmic Heart Reconnection session. I'm also having a webinar coming up because for many people, even if they've been on the journey for a while, it's time to go to the beginning and either refresh or get the new information. So thank you so much for watching. The links are below. 
you can reach me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com or twinflamebody at gmail.com because I'm a person that rolls up my sleeves and I get it done. And I will be straight up and tell you, and if I sense that you need some medical attention, I will tell you that also. There have been times I've detected small things on people such as a cholesterol issue, prediabetes. So um, make sure that you are doing the things because there are those of us who have worked really long and hard to hone our skill with our gift to be able to do that. And I am one of those people and it deserves a very, very good, thorough, high level healing if you are experiencing something. I've had very good success with people where something about possibly going into dysfunction, they've become highly functional and vibrant again. So thanks so much and reach out. Have a session with me. Thank you. Bye. You'll be glad you did.